Now, uh, as far as some of the big, bigger ticket items, you're going to see newer furnaces, newer hot water tanks, right? So that's a huge bonus for how cheap this particular property is. What I would probably do, especially because you're trying to do a burr deal, the idea would be to get the ARV as high as humanly possible. You want to get the ARV to be as far away from your purchase price as possible. So I would spend the money now at this time in just vinyl sided. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, y'all. Today, I got a nice burr opportunity in Cleveland, a multifamily burr. We aren't really seeing too many of these kind of opportunities out here in the market right now. So this is big time. Uh, 2100 West 93rd. It's on the west side, 44102, 79.9, guys. You pretty much almost never see anything like this uh, under 100K on the west side right now, right? This is a good opportunity, uh, but you're definitely going to need to do some work, okay? Now, uh, as far as some of the big, bigger ticket items, you're going to see newer furnaces, newer hot water tanks, right? So that's a huge bonus, for how cheap this particular property is. But there's still going to be some costs to get this thing ready to go, right? I mean, once you get ready to go, it's making a freaking crap ton of money, dude. Probably 900 a unit. Uh, but what we need, we need to do full cosmetic renos uh, in both of the units, dude. I would estimate, you know, 10 to 20K per unit, depending on who you got doing the work, how they're doing the work, how nice you want to make it. And then in addition to that, uh, it's got to get lead certified before you could put tenants in it, right? And when you're doing those cosmetic renovations on the interior, you know, all your costs will be baked into that, right? Because you're, you're eliminating any lead hazards there. But where you're probably going to see a, a pretty decent amount of cost um, would be if you decide to vinyl side it, right? Because you're going to need to address the outside, right? You could do a couple different things. You could do like the scraping and painting route, which will absolutely be cheaper, but in Cleveland, you got to continually re-lead hazard certify your properties every two years, right? So what I would probably do, especially because you're trying to do a burr deal, the idea would be to get the ARV as high as humanly possible. You want to get the ARV to be as far away from your purchase price as possible. So I would spend the money now at this time and just vinyl side it. It is a big old duplex. So you might be looking at like 10 Gs for that, maybe even a little bit more. But if you vinyl side it, dude, every couple of years when uh, new lead certification is required, you're not really doing anything, right? But if you, you do the cheaper route, scraping and painting, yeah, you'll save money now. Uh, however, you're probably going to need to address that every couple of years or every like two or three uh, lead certification periods, right? So that's how I would handle it. And then at that point, man, you probably got yourself a duplex. It's worth like 130, 140 maybe. I mean, this right here. A whole lot of spread in this one, guys. Uh, if you guys are interested in making offers on this property, but you'd like to tour the property uh, prior to that so you could put together line-by-line -line bids or anything like that, not a problem. Hit up my team, sales at holtonwise.com. We will get you in there same business day if you hit us up before 5 o'clock. Uh, if you're just ready to make an offer and you're out of state and you want to do a contingent on inspection, that's cool too. Send my team your offers, sales at holtonwise.com. It could be as simple as an email with how much you want to offer, how much you want to pay, and of course, includes your proof of funds, right? When I say proof of funds, I want to see, you know, the money in your bank account, right? Don't tell me it's a cash offer and then give me a hard money loan pre-approval because then I know you're an idiot and uh, you're probably not going to close, right? I like to, uh, you know, avoid wasting a lot of my time on idiots. So don't be an idiot. A lot of money here. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Uh, 2100 long. Or The uh, back door? They boarded everything on. Huh? Oh, so nice. Thank good. God. I know. Well, I should be able to get the front door off if I drill. I was going to say, there's no keys, right? Not. Oh, dude, a hobo stove? Fuck. You don't see that? Everybody. Those are quality, dude. A little fenced in front yard?
nice tree growing out of the foundation. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Two of them. So yeah, it's a little horse barn. Yeah. That sounds good. I think we can get to everything from the front. RC Cola? How long has that been there? It's true. Just a recent Beautiful couple hobo stoves. This is still hot. I'm surprised. Probably kicked it in just to lock it. The window somewhat open upstairs. If you look through that window, it's like kind of clean in there. If you look through the yeah. big ass window. Yeah. Yep, it's beautiful. Can you stuff a bag of chips in the side? Uh, Capri Sun. All right, it's insulation. Maybe it's a Kool-Aid jammer. Sliver of a millimeter. You caught on the doorknob. We're in. Kind of. Oh, 
I don't think so. Is this actually locked? No, it's not. What the fuck? Hello. Hello, hello. Pardon me, window. Hello? Nobody in that closet. Cable wires. Random pair of socks. Nobody back there, right? Nope. OS. Shit, what the fuck? I don't know how I did that. Hmm. Yeah, so there is power here. Weird. No, I'm guaranteed nobody's paying the electric bill. <laughs> did you get this sign on the door? Yes. Hey, they'll be back to get their shit. I mean, for it to have clearly been broken into, it's not in bad shape. You know? No, I mean, yeah. It's just, for being broken into, it's pretty good. Vince, are you in the basement? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, for Thanks appreciate that. A little breakfast nook thingy. That's cool. I moved the possum. Respectfully though, right? No, I hit him with the door. Oh man. You get hurt. I'm gonna say. You got a broom on one end and then whatever you call this thing on the other. It's a, it's a hoe room. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe the furnaces and the hot water tanks are still here. Yeah, dude, two for two. When hey, I look, there's freaking five laundry machines. I mean, can't get back there. Those aren't in great shape, though. Definitely rusted out. I'm just sitting. Somehow there's electricity here.
ivy growing in this room. Yeah. It doesn't smell too inviting down here. Oh, shitter in the closet over there. Really? Yeah. Well, how about that? The room looks gross. <laughs> yeah. Well? Alright, well, how do we get upstairs? I know there's got to be a way. Um. That I do not know right now. You guys want me to try to break in? A little Tuesday afternoon B and E. Isn't this? No, this is just the back door, isn't it? Yeah, this board is over too. I opened it already. That could have been our uh, mascot. Our like little floor rug. All the tanning's been done. He doesn't smell anymore. Yeah. from the basement last time. Huh. Well. You guys think you have the code? Uh, try 1965. <laughs> For real, I... Nope. I don't even know how to use that thing. I could try more old codes, but I don't think we would have left one of these. No, I don't... I don't think we even changed locks here. We only did the upstairs, we yeah. didn't do the one down here. Uh, well, I'm going to start on the drone. <laughs> Sweat my fucking nuts off in here. Literally sealed off. Like, yeah, I was drinking, turns tight. Huffing dead air. <laughs> it's like coming out of a time machine. That air is so 2019. 20, that 2019 air. Uh, things used to be so good. <sighs> well, um, yeah, we could try getting in there, but close this one for yeah, it's, I mean, it's up to you. I can always come back to film the upstairs if we need to. It doesn't make sense to break our own lock. This is Eddington all over again. Eddington basement. <laughs> that metal. That explains a lot. <laughs> Whoops. It's alright, this one was a go anytime. Yes. Could be a two-parter. Yeah. I mean it'll have to be. It's fine. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.